that are tied to the same force that allowed me to quell the siege from the forest itself. That had happened for me but a few weeks ago. And the tree lady, don't forget the tree. What it spoke to you. Of course. That same force is from entities that refer themselves as the guardians. Powerful ancient trees connected to the very land itself. One of them is one that I have personally spoken to. And from the descriptions that were given to me by those who went to the ruins in Gillimore, there was quite likely a second one there. Although its was form was twisted and corrupted beyond repair, I do not know in what sense as I was not able to physically interact with it myself. But, but between the information the provided... The between the information provided and what I know of that area, there is quite likely another one of these entities Maybe even right next to this archway that exists in those ruins. They had the power to completely control and shape the will of the land. They very well could have similar ties to these structures and perhaps could be additional keys in how they operate. Well, so all of this well being said, what's there, what it is, and what you three want to know, it, it could be what exactly you say it is, and maybe it will work, maybe it won't. And it sounds as though our plan so far is march into an orc-infested forest, hope that we get there alive, and uh, hope that it works, and if it doesn't, we're fucked. So, I look at the draw. Basically, I'm, 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 I'm talking to them, none of you what the three of you are asking and saying is that this is all a large camp. Yes. At this point, what other option do we have? If we sit idly by, we're likely to get no results. Exactly. What other option is there to be presented at this table, since all others seem to question it quite a lot? Ignore everything, and the three of us go by our fucking selves, because I'm going whether we go or not, whether everyone goes or not. And he'll wind up in an orc so pot. It's suicide to go without a large I think I can't pot. sneak my way through a forest filled with monsters. I think that they'll they are very animalistic, and they'll sniff you out, too. Uh, yes, they have great I myself in blood and shit before I get caught by truth. orcs. They can smell you through the shit. Their senses are unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Oh, and I've lived amongst monsters in the woods for years. And not all monsters are the same. Not I will digress. Ma'am, you have never left this town. Track. I don't want to hear from you. I it is not something we can do that. alone. Is what she is saying, and she is right. We need as many people as we can. Palisade you can't take a large body. You cannot take 16, 20 people. They will sniff you out and hunt you down. We need a select we'll sniff group us out of a small you group. Don't trust. Yeah, sniff us out. This is, a, this is a group if of people who have knowledge, absolutely no training whatsoever. See? Rather than the basics, we would need as many as we could bring. One person is Most of these peoples aren't out. fighters, Valor. A small group yes, gets cornered. Not. They're dead. And they in dead. large numbers, it deters smaller raiding parties. I think we just care about numbers. I think we just need to, to come to the fact that there will be casualties, regardless of who the fuck we bring. Uh, that is understandable if there there is an end goal that is not all all guesswork. Not I understand research. the need for sacrifice for something that could wind up with an answer, but everything that I've been given at this table is maybe, perhaps, could be, should be, and I don't know. If we figure this out, we've won. 
against whoever the fuck is coming or whatever. All. We are working you with have no way of knowing that. Uh, on. You are right. Just praying to and as I have said, and I will continue to say, this is a gamble. I'm not forcing anyone to come. You are, though, because have... those who have... You're going to guilt people to come in. Really have. If guilt is your only That's reason for going, then I do not want you there. Because then I have your death on my conscience if it happens. Well, then guilt should not bother you then either, should it, Mirandel? So it's not really a reason to prevent someone from coming. Looks like, like we're on the same page. Because this is madness. Asking people to go and die for something that may not even yield a result. There's not a chance that's been given. We have no real true evidence of it. This is guesswork. And that why that's why it's mad. Fine. He pulls out the tablet with glowing runes. Yeah. yeah. The cipher. And your whole van is a glowing rock. Do rocks in your experience, Master Builder, typically glow with magic runes? And do you know what oh, it means? But do you? Yeah. No, we do not know do what it means yet. Mirandel, I'm not calling you a liar. Know. I believe that you have found what you have found, and I believe that you have what you have, but you have also said you have no fucking clue what it does and how. So it is useless. We, have, we know what it does, we know what these runes are for, we know what the archway does and potentially how to power it we just need more information and this place has the information you believe yes well Mr. if, Lord, if, 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 if I, I would if this? I would like to throw some information in here there has been a man known as Galdrick who constantly when we go to these places has left information behind in the mines in Gilmore, they were there. He, his information was there. He said he was going to the Berdaria Forest next because there was one of these gates there. So perhaps there is more information there that we can grab from this Galdrick. Then there's a note that you had found that had pointed you to the forest. Yes. It said it in the book, did it Sounds not? Sounds like it. It left that Same out. Same for... I'm seeing as there's a whole gaggle I... of people angrily this whole, asking all this information. I shit too. Of course they're asking questions. That's what the town hall is for, for people to ask questions. Welcome. Well, forgive mm. him for forgetting one little thing. Don't worry, I'm I apologize. I apologize for forgetting. All right. Fine. Baylor, what were you trying to say? I was trying to ask if I were able to read it. Oh, if it's ruined. No. Very well. From what I have gathered, if 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 I may, of course. from what I, from what we have gathered on our adventures, in all these other places, in Elry, in the in the his whatever the hell was in that keep there, and in Gilmore, he is a very very learned man. He knows of us information that none of us know who knows maybe he's still alive it could have been a hundred years ago it's not really any sense to it could be an elf who knows uh, but this man was learning about this stuff these gateways the 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 cure that was given to us the cure for the, the whatever what do you call it shroom lung? Shroom lung. he is the one who developed it <coughs> So if he knows these things, and he was going to the Bradaria Forest, perhaps there's more information there. Maybe, maybe there's a whole base of operations there. Who knows? He more likely got eaten. If that is the case, well, maybe he if we die. speculate that that shadow fiend came through one of them, let's say we were lucky and we opened one. Is there any way for us to tell where <coughs> it goes? Do we have any idea? Or what may come Not through when it's open? Currently. 
I do not plan to recklessly open the gates without knowing what's on the other side. I should have made that apparent from the outset. Do we have the a goal way is to figure, figure out, out how to link them? To Even in theory. In theory, they are powered by crystals. I'm sure that perhaps the arrangement of such might affect the way that they they operate, or perhaps the runes have some sort of uh, semblance. Maybe they act as some sort of magical star chart, for lack of a better term, that links the two. There's crystals or multiple. At all. They were charged with voices, thousands of whispers. I couldn't make out any of them. They overlap. I can't remember. When we were in the catacombs here who else was there on you were there oh, when we the last chamber we were in when the, the voice talked to all of us were there not crystals there or am i remembering something wrong no, the, the flora was Everyone. luminescent okay mushrooms and flowers and trees i mean there isn't there another like, isn't there another Green one subquest that we can go on like another something else like beneath it where we could learn more about this instead of what going are on you the even talking about maya oh maya is there a stepping stone before we go to the deep end is what she's asking all right everyone listen listen Let's <laughs> I mean, if we if we know so little about this if, about this, isn't there something else we can do? Like that's, she wants to know if. At the moment. Uh, well, there, there was Gillamore. There's no information that is points us to where it would be below us or is. And one. if if we go back to Gillamore, we're faced with the same problem. We have no new information and a problem that. It's worse well, than that, as you also recounted to me that. All these yeah. things you found in there, you never closed the barricade on your way out. We were not able to. So who to knows what's it. happened to Gillamore? That, that barricade was smashed through by Chen. Remember? Yes. And I was left behind. I remember. I remember. Well, I mean, and Lincoln only, isn't there. None of them followed us out. Not only is that barricade busted, but so is that archway. I can guarantee it started to crumble. Well, what I was saying is, is so when it cool. turns to night time, what is the chances of this shadow fiend poking its head up? Exactly. That. that is why Let going to Gilmore is a... Going to Gilmore is a waste of time. It's not, there's no limit. Fine. So let's say we go to the Bedaria Forest. I know that Morgan's traveled nearby it, and there are woodsmen that live there, crazy bastards that they are, that deal with the orcs in their own way. Perhaps, maybe, some of them have seen these two adventurers from the capital that came here, and could direct us where it is that they were about, since we don't even know quite where this ruin is. I don't know if you mentioned that part, we just know it's in this massive forest. And maybe we can find some intelligence there, but... It would appear the path we take is what we make on our own, and... Essentially, That's yes. By now, it is no news that this is a risky plan. And as Arn said, there are a lot of moving parts. Perhaps we will all get lucky and we get to the uh, towns bordering it and we find no one to help us, and so we just go home. But if there's even one person out there that knows where these ruins are, we need to find them. And we need to get to those ruins. Well, I'm more than willing to assist in this. I think we should start building the group. We've discussed this for far too long. <clears throat> there's a trailing road about a half a mile outside of Ledford that leads to the Bedaria. <clears throat> but anything past that, I do not know. Do we take our shot in the dark? Do 
So, so then, all in favor of accompanying us to the Badalia Forest, raise your hand. Limited information. Slim and slight chance of survival. Are you raising your hand, man? Slight chance of this. But what a bear! You're just gonna throw your life away. To begin with. What other chance? Everyone, raise your hand or lower it. You walked off of that. Not that I'm going to be able to get the hand. It's going to be bigger if you raise your hand on. Very cheap. You need the bad guy to guilt you into it, because I'll do it. Doesn't matter if I'd go, you'd get yourselves killed. Even if we made it past the orcs, even if we bested them in combat, or somehow people here would have absolutely no skills whatsoever moving through a forest, somehow managed to sneak by them. Then we get to this ruin. If we manage to find it, this manages massive forest. The door just happens to be open for us, so we waltz right in because we're very lucky. And we go down there and somehow we survive whatever is down in these ruins all the way to the very end of it, wherever it may be. Whether it's like the last one you in with pitfalls and acid. Let's even take the Shadow Fiend out of the equation. Let's assume there's not one down there. Get to this magical archway that we have no idea how to use. Let's say the gods were on our side and you activated it, or in the very least you learned how to use it. Then we leave. We go past everything that we had just encountered, fight past anything that may have followed us, or may have survived, or may have activated from us touching something magical down there, go back into the woods where the orcs, if they did not fucking know that we were there, they would now, from those that we had killed and not come back, who would then be searching for us throughout the entirety of the woods, and hopefully make it back to Ledford. That would take an entire day. Now, if what you said is correct, the Empire will be here in one day. What do we do then? He'll be here. Do we go back? And that's not enough time to recover from injuries if you get and actually make it back. Let's say you, let's say you cipher the whole thing. Let's say you cipher the whole thing and figure out how to traverse with it. What then? Do we go back to Ledford or do we use it? Do we abandon everyone and everything that did not come with us, or do we come back? What happens after that? You will have less than one day, if your intel is correct. And what if you're too late? I'm not assuming we don't have any dead, any wounded, not carrying anyone. And what if we open the fucking gateway on. and transport through right underneath Ledford and kill the Empire because they weren't fucking expecting us to come back with an army of orcs? What if? <laughs> what if anything happens? And not wait for an army of orcs and murder everyone here as well. We're going to be wow. in peak condition yes. to kill the Empire. There is no grey, there's no black and white. There's so many paths that could possibly be taken in this road. Indeed. Anything can happen. I'm willing to fucking risk it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel it's important enough. And what say we open it, and then, great, they're open, we can use them. He's right, he makes this a point, what then? The Do we have a plan to use after they're done? And even if we, you know, did You're get it open, and ahead. we could use them, what's a Motley crew of us going to do against the Empire? Now, if we're able to we can get them open. march an army through it, then yes. And we can march an army through it. Yes. What army? Are it's the Empire. It's time. And, and besides, who exactly are you going to tell oh. about this if we are successful? <sighs> if you said there's a spy among us, then the Empire will already you know. To tell some. No, they will not already know one. because the Empire spy has killed all of my goddamn Your ravens. ravens. Yes. Your oh. ravens. Your way of communication. Yes. You don't assume they do not have another way. Indeed. How many times what was it twice that we were told, might as well say it out in the open, there was a courier spotted in the village the same day as this happened? 
So if there was somebody that was transporting there. messages, if somebody left on horseback, they could be the Lion Hall or Dunstead within half a day. So you don't know that. You're making assumptions. Now let's assume that the Empire doesn't have somebody embedded with us. Who do we give this information to? Because even if you do figure it out and we don't go through the gate, we come back here and we die anyway. Opening the gate isn't the solution. What we do with it would be the solution. We don't have that. Yes. Not yet. If we, tell the we don't king. open it, then what's the point? The king what himself. Using it as an escape? Do you think he's the king, I'm Prince Gavis. Is so, old. so here's my next question. Let's assume you were successful and you were able to tell the king or the prince. Assuming that everyone there is loyal, they're going to want to know how, when, and where. And they'll assume that you're probably not telling them everything. You know how that goes. We're talking about something that shouldn't exist. They're gonna want to know how. You can't give those answers. No, I can't. They'd probably use it, sure, but we wouldn't see you again, that's for sure. Hmm. I'm gonna go barricade my shop. Uh, good luck, everyone. <laughs> There's more Maybe than just archways. <laughs> I want to. Or I see a lot of friends around this table, and I want to understand them. All I can understand is just the pure madness of yeah, the individual about it is yours that are barely trained wanting to walk into a forest filled with orcs. If you are the one who's having to find it, it is ever. I don't think I'll just try to make the other should be a part of. You know, I hope you all good luck. You're just thinking that now. That you know when you're about to take down that well, big yeah. giant deer or yeah. the, the, the boar. One it feels right. It Your fingers tingle good. right before you take a life and you know you're about to If you have any combative ability whatsoever, put your hand in the air. If you actually know how to use a weapon, put your hand in the air. I mean trained with your weapon, not you went to fucking militia practice twice. <laughs> These are the people that are gonna have to do all the fucking heavy lifting if we go to the Badaria Forest. And if one of them goes down, somebody else that's with us has to try and pick up the, the, that, that gap in the fucking line. And if it's somebody we have to carry, then that's another fighter out of the fight. So either, if we do this, we have to bring a large group that follows military doctrine, or we don't go. There's already not enough people in this room. So, We're I suppose going. that answers that question. There's no not going. Of course there is. So you can make your own choices. I won't tell you what you can and can't do. So why are you so dead set on it? Because I have seen, heard, and felt. It's also been controlled by things that are far beyond any of your tiny little brain's comprehension. Are you comprehending? Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. You had that dream. Congratulations. Can I fucking finish, you idiots? Thank you, people that have never fucking left the surface, ever. <sighs> if you have had any inkling of anything supernatural or anything magical, you would know that it is at a higher degree than swords and loud crossbows. Imagine if we were able to harness whatever the fuck is down there, like Master Galdrick has been doing. Because if he can go through these places without getting fucking attacked, why can't we eventually once we figure it out? This is research. Yes, it's a Hail Mary, it's a last ditch effort, and yes, we're probably going to die if we fuck up, but you know what? We've done it like six times now, and we keep finding puzzle pieces. Mirandal knows what he's fucking talking about. He has a thing he's for even this. said he doesn't know what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about when he says it's important. He it's has a gut work. feeling that we need to do this. Am I not right? You feel it in your stomach. 
I do. Ian does. Like Aldrich has like decades of research and training. None of you have ever even This is vastly with turning this mess. into an echo chamber. Where we are repeating right. something that we want to hear. We do I've not know what the actual once. outcome will be. We do not know. If you ever looked me in the eye and said that you could open it, or you knew what the effect was, I would tell you I would <coughs> do my best to get you there. But we don't know if it'll be for nothing. And it would be better off if everybody here packed their things and headed farther inland. Live the fight another this day. Last if we do get that fucking portal open, and there is one underneath Ledford, and we just so happen to find that out, we have an easy route to evacuate the entirety of Ledford before those people even get here. They're going to come to a ghost town. The only people we'll be evacuating is the people in this room and some of our friends. And you do realize if everyone just leaves Ledford, that leaves another opening, a castle for them to just sit in, and it's a foothold. And the safe land that we can go to gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually the empire comes from everyone. We have an opportunity. Your land's politics. I don't know how they work, but I know an army can't be fended off by this lot. It is not all doom and gloom with the vanguard coming. The empire has one weakness here that we can exploit. That's well, the kingdom of our land plans to exploit, and that is. We have favorable this terrain. Sign on the one who told you about this. Exactly. So, if we're using that terrain, and we're able to break this vanguard siege with whatever we find down there, whether it's the ability to transport troops to other areas, or we find out how to control the dead and make it into an army of soldiers that cannot bleed <laughs> out. Uh, then are not controlled. The dead controls. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, an example. Jaws. I remember those mushroom people. <laughs> not the, uh, not the mushroom not. people. Not talking about that. And if those demons are far south a thousand yards, those demons have been attacking us every night. What is your? Let's also remember friends? that Galdrick also had a war forged, so we could make more tangs. That would be great. Not just a war forged. <laughs> he had reanimated corpses of soldiers, hundreds of them. Let's look at the facts as well. The amount of people we have in this room. I also saw the notes that Illendel had that said he snuck past what was within those mines. That means he snuck past those knights or whatever the fuck they were. So he has nothing to do with them if those notes are really to be believed. He was saying, Kyla. The facts are the amount of people we have in this room has been made very clear is not enough. The only people that are still interested in, in this mission are in this room. We don't have enough people for this, apparently. We might. So how would you go see. about getting more? I know. Just Half of them are the combatants. Wielding a sword for a week, the carpenter hasn't even wielded anything. We do have a newly knighted captain who might be able to maybe throw a little... Well, we're us, not, us a little we're bit not of taking Rallet. We're not Out. taking Rallet, but he is men. We're not taking Rallet. <laughs> Why would we take them? Couple of you them? want to bring those guardsmen into... We would be using them as bait and cannon fodder and nothing else. Are yes, but they could, I'm, they, I'm sure they could beat you in a fight. Here's the alternative. You have laid out how yes. harebrained this plan is, and I agree, it's not a great plan, no. But the alternative, as you have also pointed out, is we wait here for the vanguard, and that's it. The vanguard is upon us. Sit here like pathetic ducks, waiting to be fucking slaughtered and plucked. No thank you. So I'd rather spend my time doing something. Stop we trying to get fucking evidence. Die here. It's absolutely chance. We have no idea how to use it. it. Use it. A fucking glowing Just stone. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not real. Nobody said it was real. It's real. We don't know how Nobody to use it. I see. Even if a man I has a sword and a... he does not know how to use a sword, it's useless to him, no matter how dangerous it could be against his enemy. Yes, and that is all that it is at its roots, through and through. A gamble. A chance. From someone who's actually lived their entire life on fucking risk? 
Can we take one for once? You lived your life on risk, as you said, and you wound up in chains. You, think you did not come out on top. I am stuck. The point Under. is, not all chances are the good ones to take until you have enough information. If he was able to give me more, I'd be willing to put my life on the line. But right now, I feel that I'm more useful somewhere else. Then don't go. I did not raise my hand, did I? This chance could do everything. That does not mean I don't care about the people around this table. Everyone here is already nothing. doomed. The Empire is marching. The Vanguard is on the way. There have been defenses that have lasted for months. Oh, the palisade. On <laughs> I mean, the palisade the, that has failed us every single of the fucking east. night. Isn't that what they're fucking called, no Ian? The fires of the fucking east. What burns? Really Those fucking things jump easy, over the fucking Carpenter. Thing. You should know that. I'll tell you what will burn if we don't stop the Empire at Ledford, the Bedaria Forest, and everything within it. So even if we do escape. I would like to remind you, Illindel is dead. It's not happening. If they burn the forest, there's not well, much I can there do you go. about it. That's not happening. That's why. That's so if we walk into that this. gate and we escape, it does not matter how far she gets from her forest. She will die. That should be enough to, to, to show you how fucking important this is. The Dryad knows she's going to probably be killed and she's still going. Because she is the being led by something. Is, Mirandel. Even if we open a gate, maybe. We don't want to with open the it. Exposition that's been given to me to escape. You have said this, and so has Mirandel several times. She cannot. Both of you have used the words to escape. It is an option. Poten potentially. However, that is not the main reason for going. The main reason for going is understanding and trying to figure out how to use this to our advantage. You need to know. Yep. What would you the like bits of his legacy have left behind have always been helpful to us. If there is any help to be gleaned from there, we need to have it because right now we are currently sitting on hoping that what we have right now is enough when most of us in this room probably know that isn't the case. The only Regardless of what reason. happens, my life is probably coming close to an end if they are here to burn everything. So I might as well make the most of what I have to ensure that if there's any chance that others can live on, that they get that opportunity. I sympathize, I do, with you, Indra, but... That would legitimately be the only real reason we would go to the Vidaria Forest. Is for you. So you don't die by whatever is coming. The fire that he Which I am all weather. for. Because she has saved our As lives by this time. But, but. I need more intelligence. Yes. What is what on? Fucking show them. If we could find out, in the very least. What kind of help could be found there among the woodsmen? If we know how many, somehow, orcs we may be facing in this particular section of the Bedaria, hell, even knowing where the ruins might be in this massive forest, 40, 50 miles of forest. Then we go there, and we get the intelligence, and if it looks bad, we turn around. If it seems unmanageable, if it seems impossible, we turn around. But if not... If we're going to do this, we need people who can follow orders. That can fight together while the thinkers do the thinking. And the healers do the healing. We cannot have a gaggle fuck like we have had in other places we've gone. The only way we will survive something where we have zero intelligence is if we have everyone on the same fucking page. I agree. Maya, Carpenter, leave the building.
My point still remains. Even if we convince everyone in this room to go, it's not enough people. No. I'm trying to think of places where we could get the numbers. I said this might not be enough. And we have the castle. I'm racking my brain. And the fuckers are in the forums. And they don't want to help us. No. Nine wolves are gone. Probably the same size They have left the corner. You can hold your Not all of them. The original film is still here. Ten, maybe. What did you want to ask me on? I was saying that most orcs, especially the tribal ones here in Ireland, are about your size. They are strong, they are fast. Yes. While they do not have forgemen amongst them, they pilfer what they need. So they'll have plenty of armaments, especially if they're hitting convoys as strong as Morgrims, which were all battle-hardened dwarves, if you did not know. Filled with and armaments. keep in mind, poison arrows. Deadly, festering poison arrows. Sounds like something to learn about. And what about Tang? <laughs> Tang is still horrendously damaged. All throughout the forest, so every single fucking orc can come running. <coughs> He'd bear only help if he came wild. to being overwhelmed in melee. There was. He's the one of the main reasons why we had to fight the Shadow Fiend. Because he led it to us. The After Shadow the Fiend, their vision was based on uh, ugly movement. No. The orcs can smell us. Back they have Africa. poor yeah. movement, but they have poor vision, that they were listeners. Shadow coming to see Tang. Blur. Something about oh, spirit. Oh, Tang's Tang's not give off a sight. That wouldn't be before well, tonight, and we'd be leaving in the morning. Metal. Yeah, and and bright. He's like a giant Christmas ornament. Right we might the give them enough the pause. Right, well, listen, there's, there's no debate. Like Tang is damaged, he's loud, he cannot come. End of discussion. If we get overwhelmed. He will be the biggest boon in, in melee. He's 800 fucking pounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's probably going to sneak and take on an orc single-handedly. Absolutely, I do. We're not going to sneak past the orcs. It's not going to happen. They will smell us out. I have gotten past creatures that can smell me before. That is have you. You are tiny and diminutive. The rest of us are I have are gotten not. an entire group past have you creatures that could smell us. I'm not talking to you, farming, anyway. I've got she all of that point. entire group in Gillimore through those caves by covering them in the fucking intestines of their people. And they did not bat an eye at us. Is what they love. Can I ask you a question? Shut up. Did those things see very well? I don't know. Probably it's not. Dark. Orcs can see very well, and they can smell very well, and they are very fucking strong, and faster than you, and faster than I. Once one of them finds you, they will all converge on your position, and you will have to hold your ground. What Anna's saying is stealth is not an option. In the head. These perfect world preconceived no. And how many bolts do you have, Seraveth? Five, if you want to know so badly. Great, five dead orcs. Not enough. If I mark that is. We would have to I'm work. Not saying together we're gonna go in there fucking blazing. Alright. With heavy armor. There is one thing you must know about orcs. The one apparent weakness, same as goblins, they always have a chieftain, or as they like to call it, a war boss. Someone that keeps them running. Usually, if you shatter orc. such a leader, yes, a bigger a fuck off orc. Commonly mistaken so... as a troll at times because of how large they are. Oh, there are trolls in the you... door, yeah. mm. You're trying to say that we should take out the orcs chieftain who is probably in their most fortified okay, camp, surrounded to. by their most elite troops. 
Well, I, I don't yes. have that. I think that's an option. That is their only real weakness. You're shattering their morale best you can, but even then they'll just I choose just a new leader. The next I strongest. I have a point advantage, and I could do it. But we'd have to find it first and know what the fuck it looks like. Then we speak to the woodsman. It's usually the one that's shouting. Do you they still have the forest. Maybe where do we know find these woodsmen? Wait, wait. I like this the idea of idea. learning about the forest. You have, um... This one here. You have something. That could help us take out that chieftain. If it's not something... That is not something that can be called upon whenever I see fit. But I've tried, trust me. Not that, not that, uh, but... There's... Oh, yes. Uh, yes, if we can ask if they know where their chieftain is, uh, these woodsmen, perhaps they know the camp that he stays at. Perhaps it might be a possible that's, possibility. That's what I was suggesting, Mirandil. Mm. Very good. We all know the Badaria like Wait, the woodsmen This is the Badaria forest. The Gagovian forests are about 50 miles to the west. Yeah. Correct? I know. Am I wrong? It's entirely possible that I there have. is no chieftain that's present. I have a contact there who travels both between the Badaria forests in his woodland hut and the Gagovian forest. His name is William Paul Heastis. Perhaps we'll come across him. Or maybe he's been eaten by a norm. He knows those woods better than what anyone. He's like? lived his entire life as a hermit. Ah, uh, he's very it. old. Sixty, should be six years old. Uh, green eyes. About up to here. I remember that. Yes. Well, then we have a plan now. Here's my mentor. For how to get past the orc. Assassinate <laughs> the war boss. In, and we'll put them in a diff's array. Then for a try we can until they find a new leader. But it might These aren't take like the orcs of the Murgatroyd. Of infighting. The ones that are isolated in human lands are more tribal. There is a chance that they're one of the outlying tribes of another war boss somewhere, but that does not mean that they are present in the wood. Yes, this is a good idea, but it's not guaranteed if we're just running into outliers that are within the our section of the forest. It might just be a trickle effect we have to deal with. Right. Well, in that we case, can be sure there will be orcs. Add. We can be sure there will be trolls, and we can be sure that there is a chance that there are goblins and <sighs> spiders. Now, our favorite. Spiders. <laughs> in any They're case, bad when there's goblins riding on them. The current plan <laughs> is to go to the edge of the woods, to these woodsmen, talk to them, and if things seem and if things are insurmountable, we can re-decide then if this is something we want to follow through with. Does that sound fair? Does that sound agreeable? It sounds far more I will stable. even agree. If the woodsmen say to turn around, I will fucking concede and go back. We need to send a runner, see if they can find out of their woodsmen. tell you now, they'll already say that. We'll have to make our own choice. Good thing I had my fingers crossed under the table then. In that case... Even if that All is the case now, Mirandel, yes. we need more people. More? Okay. Aye, more. This is not enough. Yeah. It's not going to be small groups of orcs. <sighs> this is the thought process, so you understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. We have what, six, five capable fighters in melee? We'd have to supplement those horrendous small numbers with more people who don't know what the fuck they're doing and give them pole arms so they stand a chance so the men in front can hold their own and those who cannot are around the sides and the back using pole arms keeping themselves at a safe distance keeping the enemy at a distance buying the melee fighters time to cut down their opponents if it is just us we will be encircled and killed and that's without arrows I advise bringing shields with the dwarves. Some of them are very yeah. capable fighters. Miners. You're right. right. I'm sure they want to get revenge right. too. We might be able to bring the dwarves. Mm. They hate orcs. We could. They 
they despise them, the stubbornness might dissuade them. Chicken them I'm sure some of them would like Just to get back to them for raiding uh, Morgrim's band. What? What is it, Tyler? Nothing. Us had a chance that if we wanted to, given that they seem to only care about if there's money involved, the remaining iron wolves that weren't taken by Cornwall. Hmm. That's not a bad I, idea. I can say one thing about Warforged. That creepy little man from Gilmore will be coming in the morrow with a repair kit. I already mentioned that. Type. So if Tang does want to go, he might have a chance. Well, Tang, leaving, do you want to go? Morning, that man might not be here. All the better, I would say. It just, just means he can get repaired when he comes back. I feel like he'll have a couple yeah. more dents. You think he can hold I discovered out? something with Tang that may be to our advantage. He can get temporary power or whatever the fuck he runs on. When he burns certain things within his flame and his chest, we tried it with coal. It got him back on his feet faster than usual. It was just guesswork, and I told him if he explodes, I'm sorry, but it worked. So we could bring some of that as well. If we can keep him on his feet. In that case, it would be an absolute necessary asset. Worse comes to worse, if we are really that worried about him making noise, he can hold the entrance with the dwarves to the ruin as we head below. Mm. True. Right. See, it's not so You agree to that, that Tang? Sounds good to me. And if Very well. Be, I have tried crawling on all fours to stay quiet. <laughs> You're not crawling on all fours, you crazy <laughs> metal bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I contact the dwarves then? Tang. Get them to mine some coal for us. See if they're yes. interested in joining. Already done. Good idea. Yep, just let them know that they have an opportunity to kill orcs. Of course. Do we have... <sighs> Would anyone be willing to pull money with me to potentially try and hire the rest of the iron wolves that are here? I'll tell you I now, have the copper that was going to use There's only four that are left, and they're guarding Sardo Musk. Mm. That sergeant and three others. Mm. Still Wait, who's white, Sado? Who? Sado Mersk, the one who's been giving us the quests from behind the desk. The liaison. Ah, right. Liaison. Very well. In that case. So us, some dwarves. We should... Tang. How are our numbers looking now on? Potentially, now that there's actually a group together, some of the others that they walked out earlier might re change their minds. So, there he's saying there's angry, no there's angry elves in the, the, in the forest. Angry elves in the forest, yeah. Dwarves and elves don't typically get along, so. In any regard, I believe it's some of them walked down out down for the purpose of the preparations else. for what is likely going to be another attack tonight, seeing as there's been a pattern. There was some favorable of going yeah, already. What you need to figure out. I can figure out. Right. And that's so what we will then. try and do. We'll have to forge One some new thing. weapons. One thing, however, that you're going to have to take care of, Mirandel. So you'll have to do some wheeling and dealing, try and get us some shields. Hmm. What do you think would be a good contact for that? Uh, if I tried Fulgrath, I feel like it would... It might, so it might be a bad idea. Very well. If that's true, he is a knight now. He should have some more level of authority. Take care of that then. Good. 
As many shields. You were going to say there. something, Selena. Something to consider is if we even do go in there and then have to make it back out. To that point, we're making so many tracks that pretty much all the orcs would have noticed us. It's going to be a fight on the way out. That's why I want to bring a tank. Remember, 800 fucking pounds. You can grab anybody's arm and pull it off their body if you wanted to. Man doesn't need weapons. He is a weapon. Open the mind for the tank. And arrows will bounce off him. Appreciate it. Bolts too. Not so much the rest of us, so we gotta be careful with our shields. Heaters would be best. Cover a lot of the body, but they're also still light. Alright. I've been making my own preparations for the past few days. Knowing that this plan was going to be in motion. Unlike the time when you all went into the mines below Medford, I'm not under preparing you this time. And for that matter, I'll be there to ensure that they are administered properly. You're going to have to stay in the center of our formation. I am aware of you. Because if you die with us, either of you go no down. There's no reason for us to be there anymore. Of course. I don't know enough. I didn't know enough. There wasn't a center. Fact, there is um, so much. I'd like to put you in charge of controlling the formation since people actually listen and respect what you have to say and you have combat experience. I will remain in the middle Something and protect Ian Dill. Very good. However, we're going to need to make sure that everybody understands their roles. Once we know exactly yes. who's coming. I want to make sure we can place everyone in this formation. They understand their job, and they stick to it. Right. Dwarves will be capable in melee as well, so they'll be able to cover our backs if we get encircled. Anybody who doesn't have combat experience, pull up. They can attack through our shoulders. Right. Okay. Very well. Then I need to get to the forge, because... <laughs> I still do not have a sword. We are leaving on the morning, correct? Not tonight. Meaning I can go to sleep for a couple of hours, preferably? Very early in the morning. Yes. Me and Kate will be awake. That's attention players, attention players. Night has fallen. The button is still not working. Night has fallen. Sounds like a night fell outside. Assuming Kid will go, we will both be there. If he does not go, I will see you all at the entrance to Medford. Very well. Um, I've been sitting for so long that my Welcome legs are just working. Like, my cutting legs hurt. There is something about the board. Yes, my legs hurt as well. I see that. Quite yes. stiff. I'm going to have to. I still do not have a sword. Alright, they die sometimes. Well, try not to get hurt in the night, as I'm sure that the, uh, our good friends, the Servants of Ash, will be making a visit. And risk going on a vacation with my favorite head of broccoli. Now, why would I go and do that? I'm going to sleep, so I can be up for yes. in the morning. If you need someone, I can probably go and hold the sarcasm is something I've missed in the past few days. <laughs> well, you're gonna have me all to yourself in you the Padari Forest, because, ma'am, I'm not letting, letting you out of my sight. Sure uh, no, I don't. Ready. I have experience with that that would be the case. See you when you wake up. I don't know what they're like. In what way? Do come, please. I need you. I did help around the farms in the swamps. No, we're not going to. Every now and then, guards would Good. help drive them I'm away. I'm scant. No, Papa just... on giving the speech of don't go. No, I'm just raising questions. I, I still don't understand a lot, but we're going. That would be useful. Go talk to Arn. See if he thinks I'll see so. you in the morning. See you then. Okay, I will. Thank you. Just know that, um... Wait, if he can You're come, can I come? <laughs> the little... Oh. We're thinking of getting spears and giving them to the people that do not have weapons or are Thank not you. strictly combatants oh, so that they can help keep the trained fighters from being outnumbered. I'm in. Again. <sighs> a chance to get this off the bridge. Give him the 
care about discussions, I'm gonna oh, make even more prep. I have time tonight before anything gets exciting. And I'm also oh. to start packing away. Kill both orcs and some empire rats on the front. Give me a moment. Maybe you don't need to worry about me. <sighs> I've already made my peace with that. So. Very well. We hail off the ends live. It's gonna be fun. Didn't raise your hand. I didn't raise my hand because Arn didn't raise his hand. I already told him I would be going with him. But if he's going, then I'll That'd go. Look worried. Very well. Then report to you in the, uh, by the gate in the morning. Hopefully we'll have I a spirit. I don't want anyone to care about knots. dying. Find a large but. stick and sharpen it. <laughs> oh, that has been my Suppose life the last few nights. Uh, nothing we can do about that if it happens. We just gotta make sure it doesn't happen, right? Exactly. Do our best. Exactly. And then after that, <sighs> I go to the border. If we're all going, how are your boots anyway? That's what I'm worried about. We don't know we're actually holding up. Is it weird that I'm more worried about you and I going to the border than fighting off last. thousands of orcs? All right. <laughs> no, Just actually, I'm surprisingly in the same too. position as you. Get them fixed. <sighs> but, uh, yes, they've worn in quite nicely. I also just don't like the idea of us having to leave you. In any case. Me neither. But I have to go around and see who else is interested. You said you were gonna be back, so I'll do it. See what happens. Hmm. Yes. Will you be joining us? I hope. Don't say that. Say yes. Might as well. Yes. Much better. Baylor seem to be both just yes. <laughs> Much better. Yes. Just say yes. Nothing else. You're barred from saying anything. Just yes. Just yes. Fair right. Enough. Okay. I won't say anything You're else. You're doing it again. For now. I, I mean, You're I'm... still doing it. <laughs> just say yes. Yes. Aren't I the best student Mirandel's ever had? I hate you. That's not, no, that's not yes. <laughs> Let me hear you say it. <laughs> Let me hear you say it. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> a good I really day. hate you. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Is that why you followed Arn into the woods to try and bait me out the other night? Because you hate me. Yes, that's exactly why. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. See. So I keep saying yes. You have to guess whether or not I'm being truthful. Mm hmm I can hazard a guess. Fuck you. You can't. things to keep scaring me. I got him! Me. I got him! Get him! Take his DM powers! Take his DM powers! <laughs> Alright, you got it? Let's go! Perhaps run! DM run! Hmm. I'll just check this here. Try and see if Morgan can... Alright. What are your plans for the rest of the night? Time to power game. It's <laughs> better power game, alright. Oh. <laughs> God mode unlocked. Uh, not much. Probably just try to... Keep an eye out on things for the time oh, being. Then I'll uh, get some rest if possible. Good. Have you spoken to um, the Can speak to the missus? I have. I understand. And then probably uh, Despite the risks, we're leaving early tomorrow morning. I'll... Early tomorrow morning. Yeah. Need I'll have to talk to Faye and people when I get back then. The worst comes to worst, we have that... to. Hmm? We'll and deal with the woods. That will be after the forest. What One thing at a time, right? Right. Let's focus on surviving the orcs. Just bring an extra pickaxe. Yeah, I might die in the forest. 
I would yeah, and if I die in the forest, there's no need to worry about the Empire. Case, Easy. Oh, I think I saw Tain's light down there, so... Hmm. Right. Keeping secrets. I think, uh, need a hammer or just a pickaxe? There's no secrets. I'd say bring picks and sledgehammers, just in case. Mm. Oh. Oh, you know as much as I know. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. But I don't know what you're referring to. Ugh. Just having to leave here, but also leaving here knowing that the Empire is going to be attacking, and that Arn and I will be at the border, and Ledford is going to be bait for the Empire to potentially, well, Mirandol said we're going to be bait and we'll have to be fending this town on its own. You will, at least. Hmm. For several days before there's any reinforcements. Possibly. <sighs> the Empire is ruthless and they don't... They don't take no for an answer. Especially if they're just fighting peasants and some lionhole guards. Hmm. It's gonna be casualties and there's gonna be a lot of them. Hmm. War. Yes, but. <sighs> you don't have to be one of them. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, I'm, I, I don't intend to. <laughs> you don't deserve this town anything. It's d this. This town doesn't owe you anything. You, you don't owe this town anything. Whatever the phrase is. Just don't fucking die. Don't risk your life for a town that's only giving you shit. And also don't listen to what Sarah says in terms of the depressing shit. You still have a life to live and it's still gonna be good. So, survive. Get out of here, and maybe we'll see each other again. Hope so. But like I said, we have to worry about the orcs first. Right. I just... You're pacing. Well. <laughs> I'm nervous. One minute seems... Well, he made it clear mm. about what going to border entails. And I want to be honest with you. But for now... Yes. <laughs> Let's worry about the orcs first. Suppose those creatures are out yet? I don't smell them. Maybe they'll give us a little break. I could use it. Could use some nice tavern RP for a while. I was gonna go to the instead of hot spring thing. Yeah, okay. Bath house. Oh god, that sounds amazing. Mm. Can we just sit in the hot springs and ignore the fact that there's <laughs> terrible things happening? You hear people there. screaming not, outside not and Sitting there in yeah, the steam. We're just sitting mm. in the back. Yes. Gotta be rested for Badari. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, that sounds wonderful. You know what? I like that plan. Let's do it. How about a bottle of wine? I mean, granted, you know, if someone happens to run into the hot springs crying for help, you know, maybe we'll consider getting out. But maybe. I just kind of ignore the fact that there's people through the dark. Don't. Please you don't. <laughs> God damn it. You, you hear some fuck in the woods. Fuck, fuck. Yes. It sounds like a faint, distant voice. Can't make out the word. From what direction? He's uh, on over there, by the, any chance. The wind, car the wind carries it into the woods, but you're not sure of the direction. 
fuck huh? Ah, oh. uh, don't worry about it. You know what, lad? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll sort it out. <coughs> the fuck? Um. Any reason why you stopped? Let's. I just want to check something. You don't have to come if you don't want. I should be back no, soon. No, Emma, that's fine. Okay. I'm not letting you go out wherever you're going by yourself. Even if I can't see a thing. <laughs> just follow the sound of my lovely voice. On the back of shirt. A scream. Okay, I heard that. I'm not that deaf. What the fuck? Hang on. I don't know where it's from. A sudden, you can't see movement, but you can hear what sounds like a man crying out. In that direction. Make a nice moral choice here. What? What did you hear? I just hear someone screaming out in the fucking woods. Sounds like a man. Which direction? Uh, in the woods? Fuck. Yeah. I don't know how deep. It's just the wind's carrying it. At least alert people. God damn it. Be quick. Take my hand. Grabs it. Runs. <laughs> hey, uh, we heard uh, screaming from the woods. Mirandel. Over to your, uh, nope. place in about yes. A of minutes, I'd say. Mirin. Mirin. Yeah. What? We heard screaming from the woods. Was it 15, right? Uh, screaming God for help. It. Yes, 15. Right, um... So hopefully we find some Where? Was it a man's voice? A woman's voice? We did grab two I believe it was a man's voice. That direction. Damn it. It might be a trap. Um... Tell the guards. Or something. Guards or something. Right. Hey, let the guards know that there was screaming coming from the forest and to get on the palisade. Directly ahead. This way. Kyler with an 18 pinpoint the direction of the scream and a cry for help. <sighs> They're crying for help. This could be a trap, damn it. This could be the servants of Ash. Could be. I think it might actually be. We have Tang. Did you? I don't see one. No. Oh right, I'm fucking stupid. Stop. Bandits up ahead. Shh. shh. Stop it. They're fighting Servant of Ash. Do we help them? Let's help them quickly. Yes. Hey. 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 
<laughs> Back of the head. Say again, I didn't hear you. Begins to, the creature begins to flurry and, thro and throws all of his eyes. Get that thing away from me! Quickly, retreat while we have a chance before it calls for reinforcements. Quickly! Fuck! Fall back to Ledford. Come. Come, Come on, Come on, we're going. Get this out of here! Katrina is struck and knocked down. Intercepted. Come on. <laughs> Where's the town? Grab him, Tang. Grab Move back. Grab this thing. It's this one. Ah, there's another one. Quickly. Go back. Never mind, Tang. Pull back. Right. Come on, quickly. Let's go. He's moving up again. Run, cat. No. No. But Ledford's right here. Ledford. Get inside the barracks. Get within the palisades. Come on. Come on. You'll be safe. Oi, what's going on? Servant, servant of our. Come on. Pack bandits. Fuck me. In the woods. Go tell the corporal. Come on, let's go. I'll fucking tell the corporal. The corporal knows there's a servant of our. You okay? Alright. Yeah, difficult stretch. I'm fine. I'll stay here with the other Straight for you. How many? Just one seven of us? How about that bubble of wine? Two. There'll likely be more. Sounds perfect. I'm not certain I didn't get a good look. I saw two. One of them was on all fours. What did you say again we were doing? I asked if you wanted to have a bottle of wine or not. Oh, yes, absolutely. Whether or not you care about these That's things attacking or... No, I was pointing at Lisa. He definitely ate her fill today. <laughs> One bottle for the two of us. Where to? Learned the lesson last time. Well, do you have any ideas? I'll let you lead. If it's no trouble. Right, I'll try to see. Shall we sit and watch? Everyone die. <laughs> it's kind of morbid, Katrina. Even better, bathhouse. Bathhouse. I'll go talk to the sergeant. 
And then I'll get the corporals. The sergeant. Like the Vifla did say that, you know, it wouldn't cost us. Mm -hmm. Might as well make use of it until the night is over. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the corpses. No, but if you need me, I'll be in the bathhouse. Same. <laughs> You're part of the militia too, aren't you? Oh, God damn. So that means I'm gonna have to fight. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, I can't really bandage that much, but if you do need just some light bandaging, I can do that. So, I'll be in the infirmary. Thanks, I'm gonna... Bandaging? <laughs> well, I... As we know, the bathhouse is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Very yes. dangerous. My bucket's still there. Oh, your bucket. My bucket. 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 Go, go, Tim. Okay, one sec. One second, chat. I have to pee. <clears throat> Bathhouse RP. <sighs> Let's take a drink of vitamin water. Now for the last little bit we can just chill. <sighs> I don't have... I'm not gonna fight, because I fight every fucking night with these fucking servants of Ash that don't fucking die. Bathhouse and wine. That's an excellent idea. Yes. I'm glad you thought of it. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you thought of all the pieces. Ugh. This is a lot better than fighting servants of Ash. <clears throat> I definitely agree. Do not. Actually, like I don't know, servant of ass. Bar, <sighs> ash bar, servant of ass. Servant of ass. That's <clears throat> my kind of servant. What is that? What's a servant of ass? No, well, yes. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> wait. I was talking about this Alamo, Alamo thing. Alamo. Oh, right. Yeah, I heard a, a <sighs> traveler say it once. Uh huh. I don't know what it means. Oh, that sounded cool. Are you going to put the bucket on your head again? Oh, God. <laughs> it's warm on my hair. All right. I have long, <laughs> flowing locks, obviously. So. Flowy locks, luscious. Luscious. Look white. at it. <sighs> locks. 
do you cut it? <clears throat> Is that how you keep that length? Yeah, I usually just take my dagger to it. Mm. Yeah. Understandable. He's... I usually have fake cut mine, but I haven't had a cut it in a while. I might just end up doing it myself eventually. We'll see. Mm. But... <sighs> I am done fighting some of the bash. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Can I just call it quits? Can I just say no more? Decided to uh to quit quit being I don't know. The term militia for a second. Oh that too, yeah. I mean, essentially. <laughs> they were like, Oh town militia, you need to go fight and I just kept walking. <laughs> like, fuck this, bath and wine, much better. I feel like I've killed more of them than most, and I, I feel like I've done my duty, right? I'm not even a town militia. I, I think so too. <sighs> exactly. We were fighting them the past several <clears throat> nights, and mm -hmm. staying up all night. Mm -hmm. And, uh... We need a rest for tomorrow's even... mission. Exactly, we even stayed up all night watching Mirandel's... whatever face thing. The and yeah, we have tomorrow's mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have to leave early tomorrow, so we can't be injured. So getting injured tonight is just not an option because it's gonna make tomorrow a hell of a lot harder. Especially you and Arn. <coughs> exactly. Really, Arn should be here too. Because honestly, he might even be asleep. Probably. Who knows? I don't know. He's probably fighting, knowing him. Don't say that. Know. Right, no, he's probably asleep. Yes, he's probably asleep and everything's fine. Yes, everything's fine, no one's gonna get hurt. And, um, there's gonna be no punishments for us being here. In terms of people dying. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. Just yes. Yes, yes. Just yes. Just yes, yeah, I like that. Just yes. Have you been drinking this or has it just been me? Uh, well, I've had like one sip. You're kind of. Please drink more. <laughs> God, sorry. What the? It's just Katrina. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's, no, it's, it's it's like up there. I've had sips. I've had like three more sips than you. Okay, maybe four. <sighs> sorry. Why are you apologizing? Sorry, that wasn't drinking as much as you. You fucking alcoholic. The addiction's wow. my thing, Katrina, not yours. <laughs> it's my character trope. You can't be still in it. The fuck is a character trope? <laughs> oh, something Mirandel said. Hmm. That's our excuse for most things. It really is. Mirandel's a good scapegoat, however. <laughs> that's why Fulgrith's using him. That's his. Ca that oh, that's true. That's his character trope. Hmm. A good scapegoat. Blame everything on Mirandol. It's all Mirandol's fault. Fucking Mirandol. Oh. Don't cut the bridge, Mirandol. Oh, don't remind me. Stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting. We're going to be... God, I, I, imagine what it's gonna be like this time tomorrow. Oh. If we're alive, that is. We would have limped our way back into of. Ledford. I still don't understand oh. what the game plan is, but I'm just kind of... To my understanding, we are taking the people who are in that room, as well as some dwarves and Tang, and we are going to go to the outskirts of the uh, Badaya Forest to talk to the woodsmen and get some intel on the whole thing. See if there's a chieftain, see if there's, you know, see if they know where the ruins are at all. Um, and potentially even see if the woodsman could, I don't know, maybe even lead us through it. I doubt it. They probably are going to tell us no. That's what Arn said, at least. And, um, then if we continue to decide with the plan, uh, after getting intel, we go through, try to not, uh, be too much noticed by the orcs, uh, get to the ruins or whatever, go through the ruins, which is going to be just fine and dandy. I'm sure of it, and um, find some kind of magical portal thing that will solve all of our problems, um, and then Galdrick will be there waving and uh, give us a gold star, um, and then uh, then we will uh, 
exit the ruins with our newly found magical powers. Uh, escape the forest, probably taking down a lot of orcs if we can, or getting beaten the fuck up and put in a pot, and then escaping the pot, hopefully. And then crawling our way back to Ledford, and then being a broken shamble of messes, and then get a few hours of sleep, and then Arn and I will leave for the border and never return. I mean, return, yes. What I, what I don't get is, we go there, right? Everything goes to plan, and we figure out how to open these portals, right? Mm -hmm. Then what? <laughs> right. Like, that's, that's like, that's, that's like mission saying, success, too. yeah, that's like mission success, we figure it's it all like, out, we open up the portals. If everything goes to plan, then th do we just open up a portal? Yeah. We, well, so, I, 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 I don't know what the plan is the after that. I, <laughs> what, the Empire's going to see a portal and be like, oh look, shit, we gotta turn around. It's better than fighting the magic. servants of Ash, and I don't understand fucking magic, they all think it's supposedly important, and I tend to agree with all of them, so. You know, I, I kind of trust <laughs> them. Fair. I understand. I don't, I don't know what to think, that's why I just mainly keep my mouth shut. The one time I say something, I just get called a stupid barmaid, so... I'm well, you are a stupid again. barmaid, so avoid that. That is, yes, that is my character trope, yes. <laughs> How did you become a stupid barmaid? I feel like I've talked about myself a lot around you, but... <laughs> well... Not really a conversation, that's more talking at someone. It's fair. I haven't told too many people about my past. There's not really much to it, really. I don't have some sort of grandiose past of uh, being the son of a high inquisitor or having come from a faraway land or being, you know... I mean, I do have the dead parents trope, so there's that going for me. I like the word trope, can you tell? It's a new word. You've used it a lot, um, yeah. Yes, exactly. You know when you learn a new word, you have to use it a lot, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but, anyways, I uh, just grew up in Ireland, uh, near Ledford. Uh, my father owned a farm and my mother was sick most of her life. Uh, I had a little sister, have a little sister, named Alexis. Uh, he's uh, about four years younger than me, I think, something around there. And, uh, I've always, you know, cared for her. Where's she at? Growing up. She's at the capital now. What? Oh, we know. She said the demons are back. Spooky. Yeah. I, I don't think you realize that, but there's a lot of invasion things going on and they need you for the militia. We just fought one. We've been fighting them all night. <sighs> we'll be out in a bit. We'll be out in a bit. How bad is it? As bad as the past couple nights? Oh, you know, it's probably gonna get worse. Oh, lovely. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> telling my backstory and they interrupted me. I know, it was good character building, yeah. God, it was... I know, right? We're having the moment! Anyways. <clears throat> Angrily puts down bottle. <laughs> You've had a lot of this, <laughs> Katrina. Let me just... <laughs> yeah, just, just finish off the rest. <laughs> <sighs> so... Uh, Alexis and I uh, were out one day just playing with the neighbor's boy and we come back home and uh our parents are dead in their own house no signs of fourth century or anything it was just just dead bleeding out on the carpet the rug they they were just peasants they, they weren't anything special but uh no, they, they still, still had to die. So, I took care of Alexis growing up after that. That was around when I was nine. 
Uh, Alexis and I lived on the street for quite a while afterwards, and then uh, one day there was a lord who was in Ledford. Not necessarily lord, he was, um, well, the head magistrate of Castle Adwick. He was in Ledford, and I asked him if he could take Alexis with him back to Adwick. As one of his handmaidens or something. Servants. She was never as hardened as I was. I always tried to protect her. And, uh, I knew Ledford wasn't ever going to be safe. Not for her. Hmm. So I did what I could to get her out of here. Get her the hell out. My last ditch attempt at protecting her. Mm, noble. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessarily. She's, uh, to my knowledge, still at Adwick, but I heard not too long ago that uh, apparently a bunch of the servants of the magistrates were killed. So I don't know if she's alive or not. No way to know. <laughs> it's heavy. Yes. If she's anything like you, she's yeah, a fighter. So... It'll be okay. <laughs> she's softer. Hmm. Sweeter. She's kinder. So I got her out because she's not a fighter. She shouldn't be. She shouldn't ever have to be. I don't want her to have to be a fighter. Hmm. But. That's my sob story. Just a peasant who lived on the street. Another street rat. <laughs> Everyone has their story. But, of speaking of fighting... <sighs> I think well, I'm going to At least to bed. we got a little bit out of this. <laughs> I feel like I've done a lot of this uh, fighting servant of the ash stuff. So I'm going to retire early. I understand. <clears throat> completely understandable. I mean, you aren't a militia member, so you don't necessarily have any reason to fight. Mm -hmm. You don't owe this town anything, like I said. I don't know. I don't know how true that is. How so? It's the greatest place I've ever been. What has this town ever done for you? Give me a home. Give me a family. <laughs> give me people I cared about. Give me a job. Give me clothes. Some would say I earned it. Well. I just understand things as you they are. You lecture me all the time about making sure to, you know, while I have a hardened shell, keep my soul soft. Don't let it no, harden my soul. Hmm. Don't harden your soul either. Don't let Sarah or anyone else harden your soul. And I don't care if you say that it's already been hardened. It's not. Don't ever let your soul be hardened. The only thing keeping you alive. Really alive. It's uh, <clears throat> insightful. I'll let you go to sleep. I want to get changed Maybe. first and put fucking clothes on. I'm going to sleep in here, Katrina. Yeah, you're not going to just sleep in the water? Thought about it. The forever sleep. Yeah. <clears throat> Backstory. <laughs> I mean, no one else is in here. I don't really need to mime this, but I'm going to anyway. <sighs> okay. There's so much stuff on here now. I need a way to organize it. Uh, let go. Mm. That's everything. The hood I put on later. <laughs> Let's hope they haven't closed their fucking gates yet. Alright. I also was camping out in there. Uh, it's so uncomfortable in there.
Hmm. Where are you off to? Are you going to sleep too, or...? Haven't decided yet. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to sleep knowing that... that... if I could've done something... If I, God, the last thing I want is someone to fucking... end up getting hurt, and I could've stopped it, but at the same time... I don't want to get hurt either if I have to do all this bullshit in the next couple of days. Exactly. Sorry, not bullshit, saving the world shit, or whatever, saving loads of shit. I'm Heroic. fucking recovering. Heroic bullshit. My back-breaking injury. <laughs> I do need to sleep. Your, your, yes, your back is fucking broken, and, uh... What happens when you carry the team? You're off the hook. <laughs> oh, right. Clearly oh. noted. Very well, Katrina. It was a pleasure. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Yes, of course. I think I did that right. Anyway. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, Good night. Stay safe. Good night. You too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Leave that there so I can forget about it in peace. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs>